Now, we need to put these wires into these connectors. And I'm going to do that now before we put this in there, uh, just because it's easier. So, these are cute. Uh, these are nice little connectors, and I'll show you how they work. So you need a little Phillips head screwdriver, and when you turn it clockwise, you tighten down the connector. You can see what you have here is you have a little tab on this connector, and then you have a U-shaped metal piece. So you're going to put your wires on top of the U-shaped metal piece, uh, pushing in on this tab. So we need to loosen the screw so that the tab will flex upwards when you push the wires in. And then when you screw the screw down, that tightens down onto the wires. So let's loosen these by bringing the screw basically up to the surface here. You don't want to take it all the way out. Um, <clears throat> and now, it goes like this, so we're going to put, um, we're going to put uh, these left side motors, red and red, are going to go on out two, and uh, we'll put them in one of the holes, but if you look, there's really not a whole lot of wire there that we can use to put into that hole. Um, and you want to make sure that the connector presses down on the wire and not the insulation, otherwise you won't get a connection. So I'm going to strip these to get a little bit more length on the wire, just like that. Uh, so now I can push it all the way in there and make sure that I have it all the way in. Okay, try when you strip these, try not to uh, cut the wires when you do that. Okay, so now that they're stripped, I am going to push both of them into this one connector. And push them all the way in, as far as you can go. then you tighten them down. You don't want to use a million pound muscle there, but you do want to make sure you get it nice and tight. And then you do a pull test. Make sure that the wires won't come out. Okay. I'm going to do that with the black. There we go. Two black wires. Now I got the right wires. those in. Not wanting to go in. All right. Behave. There we go. Okay. and tight. Pull test. Now we're good. Alright. Now the other side. So if you remember, we do red to red here as well, but it is reverse polarity from the other side when it comes to forward and back. So, to make the software make sense, uh, 
let's wire these red ones into this out this connector of out three. test. So now whatever forward reverse behavior we put on these pins uh, will be symmetrical because of the way we're wiring these up. <clears throat> It's easy to accidentally put the wire underneath. I mean, it feels like it's kind of going in, but it's not. So make sure you get it pushed all the way into this U-shaped piece of metal here in the connector. This one doesn't want to go in. Come on. There we go. You got to be patient. If you don't do this right, you'll regret it. Your wheels won't turn right at the moment when you're showing it off. Okay, pull test. Don't forget the pull test. Okay, we're wired up. Uh, now we're going to mount this and we can put the top on. Um, but before we do that, let's... Uh, Let's put a couple of wires into this power coming in here.